Hi everyone, it's Giselle here with a message about... Um, people have been reaching out and saying that perhaps they can't feel their beloveds as strongly as they once did, or the connection is different, or they've been blocked and they can't see a way forward. And so they keep asking how or why or what's going to happen. Um, how can this thing turn around and change? And how can reunion happen when everything is seemingly falling apart or disconnecting? And it just looks like there may not be a way forward with this. But I would like to, once again, just reaffirm with you that it is not our place to know the hows and the whys, but to trust and to stay firm within our beliefs and to not doubt our hearts and it's so easy to get sidetracked or to get scared but what you must try and do is stay in the knowing in the belief that things will happen and unfold as they should and that the reason for knowing how and when and where and what you know we don't need to know that all we need to do is remain in that place of inner knowing and trusting these questions come about all too easily when we go into to our minds and try to logically evaluate the situation and understand okay well this is what's happened so how on earth can we get from being blocked, disconnected, lost con complete contact, being ignored, to coming together and go into your heart is the main message with that because your head will lead you astray. Your head will confuse you. Your head will torment you with the endless questions of how and is this even possible but your heart will have a peaceful calm inner knowing and that's the thing that's a trick i know it's very very difficult at times but the head is misleading and this is where your divine love gets confused as well, where their heads start to overanalyze things and get scared. So the more that you can go into your heart, the more that your beloved will feel that energy because your beloved and you are always connected. And so... They will sense when you're scared and when you're doubtful and they will in turn also go more and more into their heads. But when you go into your heart and have that inner calm and knowing and love yourself. <laughs> I don't know how these are coming up just so randomly. Um, well, there must be messages that they want me to tell you about. <laughs> The more that you have that confidence, the more that you love yourself, because doubt stems from not having that confidence and not having that trust and not loving yourself. Because when you doubt something about yourself, you are automatically placing questions on, oh, am I good enough? Am I beautiful enough? Am I, you know, all these silly questions that really... You need to stop asking yourself and you need to properly go within to go into that place of peace, of calm, of inner knowing, of inner strength, 
of quiet inner knowing. And then you will feel, okay, the only feeling I'm sensing is oneness and connectedness with my beloved. And it is not up to me to try and figure all this out. I will lift up my hands to the universe and just say, okay, the plan has never changed. The plan is still that I want to be reunited with them. But please, I give up control because I can't figure it out. And so the universe, just as it always will, will take care of it for you. And one way of giving up the control is to recognize that you have to have faith in your beloved because if you're doubting how this is going to come about you are also doubting them and their ability to make their way back to you but you need to have that faith you need to have that strength of of confidence within yourself that miracles can happen and that there is no question this is your beloved, they will find their way back to you because that's what you were meant to do. And if that's what you feel in your heart is right, then of course, there is no need for doubt. What I also find helps is to uncreate the beliefs that stem from previous experiences through meditation. I believe I have meditation up on this channel if not on my other um, spiritual coaching YouTube channel where you can follow along and it will help you to go within and to release all of your old beliefs and all of your preconceived expectations that just don't, long, don't serve you anymore and to rebalance and restore the love for yourself and in turn for your twin. So... Don't doubt them. Don't doubt your connection. And don't doubt their ability to make their way back to you. Because the more you try and rationalize and the more you try and figure things out, the more difficult it's going to be. Because you're not going to figure it out. A miracle is not to be understood, but just to be believed in and then accepted once it comes. So... One thing I'll mention as well, which is my experience, is whenever I'm starting to doubt, I'll get little flashes of my beloved reminding me on the spiritual, you know you're comparing me to your old experiences and to your exes and to your false twin, right? You, you don't need to do that. Please don't compare me to them. And then I'm reminded, okay, I'm sorry, well, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I shouldn't be doing that. So please, go within your heart. And believe that this is achievable because it 100% is. You would not have joined this mission, come down to this earth and had this pact with your twin for you two to fail. That is not what we've come here for. So go within your heart and let go of any preconceived beliefs. And do not compare them to your past experiences because... It's a bit of an insult, isn't it? I mean, you wouldn't want them to compare you to their exes or to their past. So don't do it to them. But instead, release. And the more you can release and uncreate all of those beliefs that were false and were just stemming from your past and from the bad experiences that you had in your past, the more open you'll be. And this really did work for me. Um, I remember... At one point, I, I just thought to myself, how in the world is he going to contact me? We're oceans apart, literally, you know, and I, I didn't see much, well, a way out. But then I did the meditation in the morning and unbeknownst to me, he contacted me the same day and I was just astounded. I was like, wow. And I, I firmly believe that the reason for that contact to get to me so easily is because I did do that meditation and I went within and cleared everything and only held what was in my heart as the truth 
So give it a try. It may not work the first time, I'm not going to lie. It all just depends how much clearing there is to do, but do it a few times and you will see. As soon as you cleared the way, as soon as you let go of those preconceived notions and as soon as you stop comparing them to the people in your past, the easier it's going to be for you to start believing. And even if you don't start to see physical proof straight away, even if they don't contact you straight after, keep believing. It's going to be so much easier for you. Because whether you worry or not, if you're meant to come together, you're meant to come together. So what's the point in worrying? Stop the worrying and believe. Thank you for listening. Namaste.